car here. Now we're going to be changing table aggregations in Power BI. What do I mean by that? Let's go ahead and add a table. We're going to put some product categories in here. We're going to actually put our sales, profit, and quantity. And like always, I want to go ahead and I just want to get rid of my food and spices. This is okay. I want to increase my size by just going to grid options. And I'll just make this bigger. To my right there. All right. So I'll go back into my building my visual. So as you can see right now, we have some of sales, some of profit, and some of quantity. But what if we wanted to change those aggregations? So as you can see right here, I have some average, minimum, maximum. And these are the different aggregations where you can change it to. So if I just went ahead and hit average, then now we can see the average of sales on each of these different product categories. I can do the same thing for profit. So if I went to profit and I change this to maximum, now I can see what my maximum profit was. And if I do that, then my maximum profit came from soup and my average sales came from soup and bread. And then if I go to quantity and I can change this to minimum, minimum quantity. So we see that our minimum quantity here was one. And if I change this to maximum, we see that that changed to eight. Or if I say don't summarize at all, this is what we'll see. So another thing we can do here, let's just go ahead and add in our profit one more time. So I'll just drop it at the end here. So now we see our sum of profit, but what if I wanted this to be a percent? So we'll just come here and we'll have a show as, and we just want to show this as a percent. And now if we go ahead and hit here, we have a sum of profit with the highest percent here, which is 5.42%. And now you know how to change table aggregation in Power BI.